Computex 2018 and we're at the Raijin Tech booth. Wow, check this out. What have we got here? This is like a... The this is our so-called Enyo. Enyo. This is a, a complete new open frame chassis. Yeah, yeah. Which I is capable that. of any setup you're looking for. Any configuration? <laughs> any configuration. In, and any how, radiators. Uh, wow. Whatever, you can install up to eight or nine high-end radiators with any depth yeah. that you're looking for. It's, uh, it's not just one end, right? You've got the other no, end too. Both, uh, we will come to that. Right. Uh, you can install up to 480s. 480s, yeah, yeah. 480 radiators. That's in the front. 60 and on top as well. On top. Uh, with 60 millimeters depth, 70 millimeters, 80 millimeters, plus the 25 of the fan. So the big, thick so fans really as well? The high end, the, the, All the, the high end the stuff. Great stuff, yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Another two down here. Yeah, I can see one that. One here and one there as wow. well. It supports uh, dual socket main boards like SSI, EATX, HPTX. <coughs> supports two pumps. Two pumps. I can see the uh, yeah. the, the uh, reservoir right here. Exactly. Um, two big pumps. Yeah. And then masses of uh, uh, storage and, and space for your radiators. Yes. Up to 480, you say. Exactly. Yeah, man, that's really big. It is. It is a dual frame chassis. Dual frame which chassis. Means because it's an open frame. Yeah. You know, you see everything. So we thought about hiding the cables. So cable management is only possible if you have two, uh, two dual frame uh, out of so alu together like middle. that in the middle. In so the middle. have a look so at this. So you can actually route. So you can actually route all the cables in here. Right. So in this between is a dual frame. So you can see there's a gap there. You can put all your cables uh, for your cable management uh, all the way. And uh, as you can see on this side, you've got another frame here for you put your put your um, power supplies. Right. You have two power supplies here. I can see redundancy. Yes as well as another two big radiators. Right. 360, 360, 480 is installable, no problem at all. Right, so on this side, <coughs> you can see, yeah. No, look, the thickness on this radiator right here. Look at that. That's and you've a got 60 nice mil. 60 mil radiator, and this is a 360, right? Yes. And you can see that Support running there. Up to like and another one down there, too. You can see, you can put all your other stuff, for example, your power supply, your radiators, and even pumps if you need it, on this side. On the, on the other side, you can just put your motherboard graphics card just for pure display. Exactly. What we as well did is we put the, through the, the, the fittings into the first frame and those will be standard, you know? All right. So you can route your tubes directly through it. So right. you don't need to extra drill or whatsoever. It's already prepared All right. to route the complete liquid cooling system from the front to the back. Yeah. Check this out. Okay, let me point this. See that right there? See that right there? That there is already got holes ready for your water cooling tubes right there. And then you can just feed that through from the front uh, of the, uh, the, the main frame to the second frame here. And then you have that then going into your water cooling radiator there. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. This is your main flagship. This is the new flagship, yes. Yeah, right, nice. And then obviously, go moving on then, we have your radiator all-in-ones. Yes. Yeah, all-in-one coolers. That's different from the one I've sent you already. Yeah. This is a copper copper version because it uh, was requested in Europe and the US uh, a lot. Yeah. This is a copper radiator together with the copper plate. Uh, water, uh, the the uh, CPU block is also the uh, copper. So we have a copper copper, no corrosion. Yeah, copper Perfect. radiator. Copper water block. Yes. Is this a pump and a flow meter? Flow the meter there. In the front. Of all oh, right. Tubes, yes. All right. Here you go. This that is there. even the better one, the higher, uh, higher volume one. Okay, you got that. See that there, right there. Copper block with the flow meter, and then obviously this then uh, the pump, and then it's an all copper <coughs> radiator there. It's a 360. Yes, that's the Evo version. The Evo version. We so will also have the Orcus 360 version. Evo. Uh, uh, by the way, this is also rainbow. A rainbow? Yes. With the RGB, Addressable, right? Yes. Addressable LEDs in yes. there, looking very nice. And the flow meter. Yeah. All right. As well as our new NYX. This is a completely new layout. NYX. With a super low profile pump in the front. Yeah. And an RGB and an RGB. This is only a dummy. We right. didn't finish it yet. Okay. And an RGB radiator. Right. So RGB radiator. So it's 240. Yeah. Uh, with a low profile pump and uh, water block all in one. Yes. Again. Adjustable LEDs, yes. yeah, a nice uh, tubing here, yeah. which is uh, nice and flexible for your configuration. We'll always provide another plate, name plate for the, for, it's customizable. Customizable, you can yes. take this off anytime and replace yeah. it with your own. Um, this yes. is not available on the market yet, right? No, this okay. is uh, just finished. 
uh, we're in um, tooling stage now. Tooling stage, okay. Yes. So probably Q3, right? Uh, most Q probably, yeah. Q3 or Q4. And this is the ones that we, we've seen before? Yes, this, is, this the, is also the copper version. The copper version now. Yep. And you notice uh, slightly different, larger radiators are 280, um, right? 280, yes. 280 with the uh, uh, 140 millimeter fans. Uh, again, with the ring type it's here. It's also rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow with the uh, uh, RGB and addressable LEDs. Again, uh, again we have the uh, uh, copper version, right? Copper yes. water block yes, right here with the, with the uh, flow meter and also a nice de designed pump right there. Okay, all right, this is the copper version. And then when is it going to come out? Oh, it's actually finished. It's ready for production. Ready for production. Yes. Again, possibly Q3 when it's going to come out. Um, Unless the... it's in, uh, on the shelves, yes, it's going to be Q3. All right, yes. I haven't seen these before. These are new? Those are brand new. Yeah, so this is the mini ITX form factor. Is, let's go to the front. Let's go to the front. Let's have a look. Um, as you most probably remember, we had the Metis. Yeah. Uh, this is actually the, the next evolution of Next the evolution. It's called the Ophion. Ophion. Uh, it's, a, it's a dual chamber. Oh, dual chamber inside? It's, it's a dual chamber. For a mini ITX chassis. Exactly. It's a dual chamber. So we have two different versions. We right. have the air cooling version, yeah. we have the water cooling version. Wow, we'll okay. We'll get to the water cooling version later. We'll take a look at this one. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, if you check on the right side. On this side here? Yes. So we just move it slightly, yes. okay. You can see the standard power supply, air cooler, low profile air cooler, tempered glass, all the routing of the cables. This is a SFX power supply, right? No, that's a, uh, that's a, a standard ATX, but full, low profile. Low profile yes. uh, ATX power fits, supply. It fits even the mm -hmm. standard ATX, that's no problem at all. Low profile cooler, okay. Yes. And then on the and other side? If you move to the left side, you also mm -hmm. have the uh, fans on the top. It comes, you see that dual chambers in the middle, <clears throat> it comes prepared with the riser already. Yeah. So you have the VGA on the left side, a full PCB v a VGA layout. This is a full that's version, a, uh, full full length of RX 580 yes. right there uh, on this side of the, the chassis, right? Yes. On the other side is a, micro, a mini ATX motherboard with the power supply and the cooler. And this side then it has the graphics card with the special riser card. Yes. Okay, so this is the air cooling version. We kept, it, we kept it very simple. Yeah, brushed it's aluminium. Brushed alu. It's yeah. a very high dense alu. No, nice. Uh, it comes with a Type C USB and a USB 3.0 as well. Okay. Plus, we will have oh. the aluminium side panels perforated. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't like the tempered <coughs> glass, you can have the uh, aluminium yes. uh, for the, the chassis. This is like I said. You can show it in the cam. It's very dense. Yeah. Really nice thick. thick aluminium, right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's, you cannot even bend it. Yeah, it's super it's strong. It's non bendable. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, so these are replaceable <coughs> if you want. Yes. Uh, as an extra option. Okay, now let's move on to the water cooling version, right? <coughs> yes. This is. Again. I mean, actually, it's exactly the same like the first one, the yeah. air cooling version. It's also dual frame. We just increased the height. Increase so the height. You, so you can install your AIO or your DIY li liquid cooling system. Right. You know? You can remove the downside oh, uh, fan at the bottom. <clears throat> yes, the bottom, the bottom fan. You can replace it. We have the small pumps as well. Oh, so okay. You can, you can set up your whole complete VGA CPU liquid cooling system here as well. Yeah. With uh, hard tubing or soft tubing as you wish. <clears throat> all right. So we have the uh, radiator at the top for the all-in-one. You can see that there. That's, a, that's the, uh, the special pump that uh, Rajin Tech has. Uh, and then the, you have the water block with the uh, flow meter uh, on this side with the mini. Uh, our, our ITX motherboard right there with the power supply. Yes. On the other side then, <coughs> obviously you have the graphics card, right? Yes. So here, as you can see, uh, we have then the graphics card on this side. And there's enough space to put a, re a reservoir even on the bottom. Yeah. It comes, both of them come with riser parts out right. of the box, mm -hmm. out of the box. Um, also full PCB VGA layout. Yeah. And uh, Type C, Type -C. so it's similar to that one, slightly taller, so you can fit all your water cooling inside. Uh, you can see the radiator there, the 240 there. You can also fit another one at the bottom, a uh, special riser card to fit this graphics card, which obviously goes down to the other side uh, for your motherboard. Okay, and again, so you can use that space for, for routing the yeah. Mm -hmm. Same again with the special panel that you have, the yes. aluminium. All right, so this is the, the bigger version where you can have the uh, uh, aluminium cover instead of the tempered glass if you want that style as well. Again, very thick aluminium, solid uh, quality. Yes. Yes, very uh, robust. 
Um, we will most probably uh, deliver this kind of chassis uh, with a tempered glass version. Yeah. As well as uh, we are thinking about most probably selling those those side separately to retail. Yeah. Retail, yeah. Because uh, we think that I mean it's our philosophy if you set up this kind of chassis for your high-end gaming system, yeah. office system. CAD, this is very nice. I like that. CAD, CAD system. That means most probably you want to show it off. That's right. You want to show off. This is available system. when. Uh, Hopefully by the beginning of Q3. Q3. It's already in tooling stage and everything. Okay, notice. Uh, Come closer. Way, this is magnetic dust filter. System. Dust filter, check it out. I can just peel that off. And then you have the exposure there for your uh, radiator there. I can peel out anytime. Nice. Okay. Cool.